WTFNN. Headline News Update. Hi, everyone. Basil Chapman on this 19th day of December. Uh, getting close to wrap up time, and we're looking at the Dow at an all time high, 28,344. High today so far is 28,381 and just bumping into a little resistance here. Yeah, leg C, there should still be a leg D and you can't get that until next week because to make a peak C, you need a lower height tomorrow and that leaves a leg D and we're always looking at least for four higher peaks. And in the weekly chart, still very strong in leg C. S&P, exactly the same thing. S&P in leg C, leg D though in the weekly chart um, and you can't get a leg D in the week and the daily chart until early next week. The earliest will be Monday or Tuesday. So we're looking at up 967 at 3200. And the high today so far is 3202.71. The QQQ NDX 100 trading vehicle only in leg B. And that means that it won't make a high until next week sometime. Going for that leg D at 210.47, up 92 cents leg D in the weekly chart. And all of the monthly charts look very good. It's the, it's the 120 minute charts we'll be looking at in my show coming up, the Tiger Technicians Hour. And that'll be in another few minutes. And also, I'm the author of the opening call daily newsletter. Let's look at the IWM. IWM had been the laggard. It's now moving up a little bit. It's up 32 cents at 165.34. And I believe I need to call this a leg C, F slash C. Uh, only a leg C in the weekly chart. And now we go to gold. And gold at this particular moment is up $4 at 1483. So it's been a choppy uh, move in this rectangle formation being repelled at this 50 period, the little dash gray line, 50 period moving average. Uh, but the MACD is good, stochastic quite weak at 70%. It's just stuck in a range. Silver's the same thing. Yep, silver is up a, a little. But look at the dollar. This is going to be very important. The dollar right now is holding quite nicely. It's trying to test the 14 period exponential moving average. It's come off the bottom of 96.72, straight in 97.40, unchanged. It's a start. It needs much more to go to really get back into buy mode. And that needs it needs to get to the 97.70, 97.83 area. So we'll see about that. And crude oil, and that's going to be quite interesting because crude oil is moving up yet again. It's up 43 cents at 61.28. We'll talk about bonds and everything else when we get back for the Tiger Technicians Hour coming up in a few minutes. Hope to see you then. Otherwise, we'll see you tomorrow. Have a great day.